friends, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. Today I had originally planned on giving my front porch a spring makeover, but the weather was just not cooperating. I was out running some errands this morning and got totally drenched in the rain, hence my crazy hair. So instead, today we are tidying up the kitchen and decorating with some of my new antique and thrift decor finds and also adding some spring touches to my kitchen as well. Now I'm just going in and cleaning around my dining room table. We are having a small Easter at our house this year with just a few family members, and I just am still loving my DIY milk glass centerpiece. I think it's going to be perfect for our Easter tablescape. I look at you, you make me blind. Why do you have to be so beautiful all the time? I know I can't be with you It's killing me to see you with someone else what to do Now I'm in the corner and watching you smile Watching you smile And I can't get over you, I'm losing my mind All of the things that I wish I could tell you Every time when you're passing me by I fall in love There's something about you I wish you were mine I found the most beautiful flowers at Trader Joe's today and I thought that these little daisies might look cute in my centerpiece among the baby's breath. The baby's breath is actually dried out. It dries out really well and holds its color and shape well, but I know that these daisies will not, so I wanted to make sure to go in and add some water before adding them in to the centerpiece. This corner is also getting a little update today. I'm using my thrifted milk glass lamp top as a vase with some faux flowers, and I'm also adding my faux thyme plant here, and also this really cute spritzer, which is another recent thrift find. My 
new little mystery basket is going on top of my fridge for now with a crock and also my antique sifter. I call it my mystery basket because I've never seen one this shape and it has to be used for something. It has to be made for a specific purpose. So if you know what that is, please let me know in the comments down below. Even though I don't know what it is, I love collecting baskets that have tops so I can stack things on them. I just think it's a really cute look. Ever since I found this beautiful pitcher at the thrift store, I just could not wait to get some fresh flowers in there and set it out in my kitchen. This would even look good in a bathroom or a bedroom, really anywhere you want to add a little pop of color to your space. I think you just can never go wrong with a pitcher full of fresh flowers. First time I ever saw you I fell in love when you entered the room And when the light hit your face We were just kids but I knew right away That I will be with you until I stop breathing I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating Lately, my pantry cabinet has been the landing zone for some of my newer finds that I haven't found a home for yet. So today I'm going in, I'm wiping it all down, and I'm finally finding a home for these pieces. I thought that the pitcher with flowers would look good here, just kind of brighten up this area. And I'm also adding a little basket of Easter eggs to also add some color in this space and some crocs that I repurposed with my IOD stamps. I still can't believe that I found this tin cookie container for only $2 at Goodwill last week. I'm incorporating it into my open shelves for now, but I'm thinking I'll move it over to my shelves above my coffee bar area when I redecorate after Easter. My hutch was in desperate need to be dusted, so I took everything out, and I'm also going to be redecorating and adding in some of my thrift flips and DIYs to this space as well. The brightest sky I have ever seen The most colorful one like a dream You wake me up with a new white smile Save every moment now Hold tight my love, we got this
one of the items going in here is my new little tin house spice jar that I found at an antique shop. And then of course my repurposed jars. I just love how the crockery stamps totally transformed this ironstone piece. If you want to see more about my thrift flips and DIYs, I will leave that video where I transformed these crocs and other thrifted items down below. I don't scare you too much, babe I wish to flatter, not a And finally, I wanted to straighten up these hanging copper pieces. My daughter loves banging them together while I cook. So I figured while I straighten them up, I should go in and clean them as well. Even the fact that I'm upset. I hope that this video brought a little joy, inspiration, and motivation to your day. I hope that you all have an amazing Easter, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.